Hello everyone, this is a tutorial for using the AI Dental RPD Designer and Game. Um, you can see here I'm on the AI Dental.app website and that'll take you to this screen right here. Um, the first thing you'll do is you'll go ahead and log in if you're part of my class, go ahead and log in here <coughs> and use the credentials that we send you. Um, and then you can go ahead and enter my class by clicking that blue button right there and you'll see all those assigned cases uh, that I've assigned to you. So uh, for this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and click that first case. Uh, when you go into the case, you'll be able to see those missing teeth here. Um, so go ahead and click Next. And the first thing you'll do is you'll need to indicate which Kennedy classification this is. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a choice here and uh, also select the major connector. So I'm gonna choose this and then I'm gonna move forward. Uh, when you click next, you'll be able to see a little green arrow that is next to this tooth right here, and that means that all the information that's on this side is representing what is going on with this abutment tooth right here. Uh, you'll also see those blue lines next to all of those abutment teeth, and that is an indication of how the survey line looks. So the closer that line gets to the tooth, that means the survey line is getting occlusal, it's more occlusal on the surface of that tooth here. Um, and the more further away it is, that means it's more gingival. So right now, there is a more uh, pronounced undercut on that distal surface of the molar. You can also see that here. So the undercut surface buckle, it's on the buckle, and also it's more towards the distal. So this will be more, more of a uh, one class one survey line went away, right? Um, and then retentive undercut is 0.01, no occlusal rust interference, no soft tissue undercut, and there is three millimeters or more of buccal vestibular depth and no aesthetic concern. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a selection for my rust. You can indicate whether you want the rust to be mesial, distal, or both. Uh, I'm gonna go with mesial for that one. And then from that drop down you can make a choice for your clasp. I'm gonna go ahead and choose CC clasp with a mesial rest here and click next. Um, you can make a choice for the clasp to go on that canine here. You can see that the survey line is now closer to the distal side, which is closer to the edential space. So that will be towards two, like a class two survey line. So I'm gonna go with a uh, Mati for that one here. For the next two, I'm just gonna go ahead and make random choices uh, to show you how things look like when they go bad, when things are wrong. So um, here we go. And when I click next, now you'll get to this screen where it tells me I've done seven out of the eight choices wrong. So I get 88%. And this is the wrong part right there. You can see the model answer by clicking this button. And you can click on this button to see your answer. And now um, you can kind of appreciate what you've done wrong and what you've done right. And you also see all the tooth criteria for each of the abutments here. So you can use those for reference. Um, so you can start over if you'd like, or you can go back to the cases and start another case. Or if you'd like to just experiment with making different designs, you can click on this button right here. And in this case, you'll see a screen with all the different teeth. You can click on them to indicate that they're missing. Um, or if you'd like something random, you could just create a random case by clicking that button, that right, uh, that red button right here. If you'd like to randomize a certain class, uh, you can choose the class you'd like to randomize from the dropdown. So for example, I'd like to randomize cases for a class one. So I'm gonna select class one. So every time I press this button, it's gonna create a random case but it's always gonna be a class one. So, um, you know, it, that's a neat kind of way to just narrow down on what you want to experiment with. So once you've found something that you'd like, you can go ahead and click next, and it'll give you a proposal for a design, but you can fine tune that by clicking next here and making choices to indicate what um, criteria exist on this tooth. So you can see here, I'm making all these different choices. Um, and then in the end, you can go ahead and, if you've got more than one um, feasible clasp, you could 
choose which one you'd like to display here by clicking on it. You can see how that changes as I click on the different class. Clicking next will get you to the next one. I'm going to go ahead and go through this real quick here. Um, so sometimes no class works out and then you'll see something like that here. Um, so um, just for the purposes of this I'm going to go ahead and um, make it so that there is a class possible here um, and I'll go next and you'll see a summary of the acceptable clasps you could create a PDF file from this if you want to share it or something so you can print that out or send it to someone um, so then you can go back to your uh, start screen if you'd like and start over and do whatever you want uh, now there is a way to still do this without being registered in my class here I'm gonna log out and this is how it looks like when you first get to the AI Dental website so you could choose the RPD design button and that'll take you to the exact screen, screen you saw before where you can create your own case and experiment with it or you could also go to the game and uh, still create your random case right here so uh, and it'll act just like the other game where you'd go here and it'll, you'll be able to choose uh, whichever now the only difference here is that when you're out here you could make a choice of which crate which design philosophy you'd like this to follow um, for my class here in Iowa we're gonna go with the hybrid philosophy it takes a little bit of all of those and mixes them up but uh, if you're outside of Iowa and you'd like to try it again you could choose the different um, philosophy that you'd like to follow uh, there are also some reference slides mainly for the hybrid theory here but um, again um, maybe it'll be useful for you so um, I hope that was helpful and uh, let us know if you have any questions